Hello, R. Robert184. And this is my a video response to your video about my first Gundam model. Per, but personally, I think I had two starts. Um, one of them was when I was in California for a, a summer program, and we went to a mall, and they had this little um, one of those little shops in the middle that they usually have like cell phone covers and you know maybe cell phone services like you know Verizon or Sprint. But one. This one was full of like Japanese Asian products or Japanese products, and I actually, I actually saw two models. It was the Destiny Gundam and the Freedom Gundam, both in the first grade line. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know that. I was I didn't know about scales or anything back then. I had only heard about the models thanks to the commercials during uh, while well, Gundam Wing was airing, where they showed the you know the big badass guys going. Strike, you know, um, I don't know, heavy arms, level 23 or something like that. I don't know, but yeah. Um, so I didn't have much idea about it. I mean, I had looked up models, and but you know, I didn't have a bank account or, and my, I don't think my parents would have funded it. So I was in California, took advantage and saw these two models. So it took me about 10 minutes to decide between the two because I had to go. I ended up deciding on the Destiny Gundam first grade. Now, not, not knowing what to expect, I looked at the side of the box and saw how awesomely painted it was and all that, all the details were there. I was really happy with my purchase. But then, I came to my dorm room or whatever and started building right away and noticed they looked completely different. So, that was kind of a disappointment for me, but I mean, I kept building it and I detailed it with actually Sharpies and stuff. And, I mean, it turned out really well, but, um, you know, that was probably four years ago and unfortunately the leg broke or the leg joint broke and so you know I decided to throw it away because it wasn't really worth having and I actually regret doing that because that could have, I could have used that for you know detailing for testing and stuff like that but I mean so this was my first mount my second start though was something that's even better and has kept me addicted to uh, Gunpla and that is the so my second restart was the 12144 scale um, 00 Gundam. This was before the O Riser was even announced. I think I got it. I got this pretty early on, but um, I think I was able to see a couple of reviews. I looked it up extremely well because I didn't want to experience what happened with the Destiny. Um, so I looked at this, and I this is after I detailed it again this is about a, th about a third try of detailing but first thing I mean I lined it with a like fine point sharpie and I took it off thankfully not with my hands but with my roommates um, nail clippers so I mean that's okay I guess but I mean I've gone back and detailed it e trying be to get better each time I mean this, th this thing still has work I need to do in order to get it to where I'm gonna really enjoy and be proud of it but yeah these were my two first models, and I also want to congratulate you on getting your collection, your you know the the lead Gundam collection done. I think it's kind of sweet how um, you know you started with Eighth MS team and got the master grade, and you closed your collection with the Eighth MS team with the EZ8, you know, a little full circle kind of thing. And I really hope I, we keep seeing reviews from you, whether master grades or high grade. Um, you know, so century, because I'm sure you're. Pro I'm not sure what what your next um, model will be, but I'm sure I'm gonna be watching with a lot of attention. Thank you, and I'll see you later.